uh, at the point I bought the first new new version of, of the triple quads, which was the Vantage, uh, I was excited, essentially in a way that the experiment was even possible. We had begun to do what we were calling selective reaction monitoring experiments on an ion trap. And we published a couple of papers looking at post-translational modifications using that SRM approach on an ion trap. We felt like those experiments were very successful. Those papers were an, an important step for my lab in looking at uh, what we now call dysfunctional uh, HDL. Uh, and, and looking at the, the modification of that. And so I liked the experiment. I, I knew it was informative. I knew it fit in with the way my biological colleagues thought and approached problems. And so I was very excited with the Vantage to even find that the experiment was possible and to begin to build up these groups of, of assays. And our lab goal was, uh, as we got started, was to be able to measure every mitochondrial protein in a sample in a day. That was our advantage. And it's because we know what the mitochondrial proteome is. And so we have a work list to, to put together. And so now as we've gone to the Vantage, to the Quantiva, to the Altus, what we've seen is that movement forward in terms of the sensitivity of the instruments and in the speed of that analysis. And all while working in a triple quadruple platform that's very robust, you know, the instruments in our lab operate all the time to where our, you know, our biggest worry is being able to remote into the instrument at nights and on weekends to make sure everything's going fine, to see how things are progressing. Sometimes to start new assays when one set kind of ends at an inconvenient time. And so what the power of the new instrumentation has added is to make a you know, what I would call a very solid, stable experiment, more sensitive and able to gather more information for us. The triple quadrupoles, that ability to go in and directly target the things that you want to look at and to build up an assay in which you've had some effort at validation uh, of what you're looking at is an experiment that appeals to the people that I work with. The extra information of more and more enzymes or more and more proteins, uh, along with you know, good signal strength. You know, I still often interact with people and show them the raw data, and so sensitivity makes that raw data prettier and prettier. Uh, and I think scientists appreciate that.